Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Tuesday, and what do we do every Tuesday? We join in with our awesome friends, Patty, Life with Patty, and Kathy's Favorite Thing. They are an awesome channels. Please go check them both out. And I hope you enjoy what I'm going to share with you today. I put together this beautiful cozy corner centerpiece to share with you what you can do if you shop your house before starting your videos. Everything you see on this, I already owned and had. Nothing is new on this cozy corner. And my little fairy shoes, aren't they cute? And I have so many beautiful Mackenzie child pieces I'm sharing with you today. In the center of this display, you see a bee and a fairy. They were from Mackenzie Child. The black and white bees and butterfly in the flower arrangement are Mackenzie Child pieces. I am a lover and a collector of Mackenzie Childs. The mushrooms that are black and white are Mackenzie Childs. And they go perfectly with the black and white tree that I got at Dollar Tree. So you can buy some beautiful high-end pieces, as you can see I have here, and throw some inexpensive pieces in. And you reuse, repurpose the butterflies at the center at the back of this arrangement. I've had those for like 20 or 25 years. My mother-in-law gave them to me as a gift. And you can see I love making beautiful displays. Now, let's see what else I have well, we're getting ready for Tea Tuesday. As you can see, I brought one of my teacups down with one of my magical spoons and I put out my beautiful peach tea for us to enjoy today. I thought it was a great drink. It's been so hot and the peach, perfect peach tea is just a really great tea to cool off in the summer. I know you'll love it if you haven't tried it before. It's one of my favorite teas to drink. And as you can see, I thought it went beautiful with my butterfly display for today. Butterflies and bees. My wonderful McKenzie child pieces that I shared with you today. And we are also going to be sharing all the wonderful things that my daughter has bought from Timu. So today's video we're talking about Timu and sharing all the wonderful things that she has found all on a budget and this is being paid for by my daughter's channel Blossom Your Creativity. Please go check it out and see what she has to share. She is a wonderful wonderful channel full of all kinds of creative ideas to share with you and she always has something wonderful to share. She's so creative and she always gets so many beautiful things from Timu for me to share. Along with doing a lot of DIY projects, she does some home decor. And hopefully we can get together and do a few Tea Tuesdays ourselves. But right now it's been hard. She's working a lot and I've been really busy also. So maybe once we get into fall and winter when it cools down, we can get together and make a couple Tea Tuesdays together. I miss being with her, but I hope you enjoyed the beautiful display that I shared today with you for the cozy corner. These are my air plants. You saw the three of them. And so, and they're really alive in real plants along with all these silk flowers that I have. I always like to share different things in different textures with all of you. This whole display was free. I shopped my house before I started the project. All these items I already owned and had. Didn't buy anything for this display. And the only thing you're seeing that's been bought is by my daughter. It's Timu time. Oh yeah, it's Timu time. I always love Timu time. Best of all, my daughter buys it all. I don't have to spend any money at all. Oh my, my, my. Isn't grandma lucky? She has a free post today, but it's always something great from Timu. Yes, this is sponsored by my daughter's channel, Blossom Your Creativity. Please go check her channel out and see what she does do. She does a lot of crafting, a little bit of home decor, and always a lot of fun. And once in a while, 
Grandma drops in and we do something together. And sometimes we do Tea Tuesday. We haven't done one in a long, long time, but we'll have to get together. I can't wait to spend some time with my daughter and do Tea Tuesday. So we'll have to do that pretty soon. I can't wait to join her. Well, sit down with your cup of tea and let's do tea mood time. Thanks so much all of you for joining in and coming to see what grandma's going to share today. Oh my, 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 oh I love sharing what I do. Well, we're going to start over here with the flowers first. Are they not beautiful? I don't want to open it all the way up because like I said, these are not mine, they're my daughter's. And this she's going to be using probably for a beautiful display. These are just a long string, beautiful set of flowers that you could put on a table, on a window, or on a beautiful tablescape for your centerpiece. All from Timu, beautifully put together. Now, what else she's got here, I don't know if she's going to use this for a Christmas display. They almost look like snowballs, don't they? Don't know what she's going to use them for, but they are very different and very pretty. And then she's going to be doing some Hawaii themed items. And here's a bunch of flowers. I don't know what she's going to do with them. She's going to string them or what? Or use them on a centerpiece because there is quite a few in the package but I know she's got some Hawaii theme coming up. She's got some straws. Don't they look different and cute? Perfect for a Hawaii display. And some beautiful little leaves to be sticking on a cake or cupcakes. To keep with that Hawaii theme, she's got some surfboards here that fit on toothpicks for some display items. And here's a bigger one also. Or maybe she's going to do an Hawaii tree. I don't know. There's little strings here to hang them on. You know she's got a tree in her dining room. And she dresses it up seasonal. So maybe this will be the end of summer trip to Hawaii theme. I don't know. And here's some more interesting things with little umbrellas. Now I don't know if these are umbrellas with straws or what they are. But they do look a little different. And if they're straws for the drinks for our Hawaii theme party. Oh my gosh, aren't those gonna be cute? And then we have a few more little oh, umbrellas. I probably need to see if I can get a couple of those for my fairy gardens. Oh well, she did really good. And then of course, there's one great big leaf or something for her display. I don't know if there's more than one in here. Oh yeah, there's a couple of them in here. I was thinking one leaf didn't seem like a beaver good idea but if she's got multiples in there she can put a beautiful display up and put her cupcakes or even a, a large cake and, and spread them around I can't wait to see what the beautiful displays will look like once she gets done aren't these some great items she found oh yeah I love them well this is just the beginning make sure you have another cup of tea and we're going to get some more stuff on this table and share with you and I hope you're enjoying what my daughter has picked up. I can't wait to see this Hawaii display or beach theme she's going to do. Now these are pillow covers and there's two of them. I'm going to share them both with you. This is a pumpkin with a bow. On the other side of this pillow cover, it's exactly the same. So I'm not going to turn it over and share with you because it's the same same picture but I did notice that these throw pillows had a wonderful material that was so soft to the touch and something you might want to cozy down with really did enjoy the quality on these throw pillows very 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 nice and don't they look great for Mackenzie Child and for Halloween oh yeah a great theme perfect for Halloween and this one, super, super cute too, isn't it? I just loved it. That face is so cute. The big buggy eyes and the little smirky smile and the little turn up. And it looks like a little tooth popping out. 
so, so cute. And of course, the black bow with, I mean, the uh, orange bow with the black polka dots, but they're cute and finished off with a pink fringe all the way around. And if one of them gets messed up, you flip it over the other side, it's exactly the same as this. Perfectly put together, is it not? Super cute, I loved it. And for some reason, the fabric on these did feel a lot better quality. Super soft also. Here's some more of those snowball uh, flowers, except these are in pink. And I already opened up the white ones and I don't feel like white opening up these. I don't know what this is. We'll call it the mystery thing. I tried to open it up. It wasn't going to open up easy. I could hear a million little pieces in there. So hopefully Debbie will share with us what's in there. And here's some more molds. Little ghosts for Halloween. And here's some little bags for something she's going to be doing on a project. And here's some more molds. Aren't they cute? Look at that little face. I can't wait to see what that looks like. And here's some more beads, because you know my daughter is a great crafter. She did a lot of great things in this shopping trip. We're not done yet, so just hang in there, my dear friends. Thank you. 